guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is officially rena today i am going to be doing a story time and a reaction to my baby's gender reveal so i haven't told you guys from the beginning how this happened because <laughs> i am about to be 33 weeks on monday and not been easy let me tell you not on the part of like the baby growing because i've been very calm and you know so far so good just in the beginning i got a little bit of vomiting the normal the usual you know but it hasn't been easy in the aspect of me getting insurance i thought i already had insurance like medicaid but apparently i didn't and i don't know if i'm the only one that's going through this i can't be because another friend of mine is going through the same thing but it was really hard for me to get insurance like super hard let me tell you medicaid i do not mess with you right now so i found out me and my mans found out we we're pregnant um I want to say early November and the way we found out we were I don't want to say trying for like a mini but I was on birth control for eight years and um, I've been with my boyfriend since 17 now I'm 21 he's 22 so we've been together for a little while and towards now it's like we feel like we're not going anywhere you know like he's the only person that i see myself having a child with and he sees me being the mother of his kids so i got off birth control it, it was already eight years that i was taking birth control and i went to go get a new pack of birth control and i was told that it i've been taking it for a long time that there could be a chance that I won't be able to have a baby in the future if I keep taking birth control. And on top of that, my insurance wasn't covering the birth control that I was taking. Um, basically, I didn't have insurance, so I stopped taking birth control on top of the fact that they told me that I could possibly not have a baby in the future if I kept taking birth control. So... I stopped taking birth control and I told my partner, I was like, look, you can't be, you know, inside of me because we don't want no kids. But he was like, but I do. And I was like, I do too, but I don't know about that. Like, I kept telling him, I want a kid when we have a house, when we have our future secure, you know, when he has a stable job. Because right now we're still kind of young. I'm 21, he's 22. At the time, he was 21 and I was 20. So, I mean, it was just a little crazy. But time, like, was passing by. And we're trying, but I was, like, in the back of my head, like, maybe I can't get pregnant. But and then I was, like, I remember one day I prayed and I was, like, God, like, if it's meant to be for me to get pregnant, then so let it be. If not, then... I pray that in the future you do allow me to have a child when the time is right. Little do you know, after that prayer, like two months later, um, I was feeling like kind of weird on the morning. My boyfriend was playing. He was like, you're pregnant. And I was like, no, I'm not. And when we left the house, I vomited and I was like, oh, shoot. And we looked at each other and we we're like, oh, my God. <laughs> get emotional but it was oh my god pregnancy hormones it was kind of like that point that we were like oh shit like he was playing and i was like not feeling well so i was like hold on you might be playing but this might be for real 
so we went to dollar store dollar store didn't have no pregnancy tests so i was like shit we're gonna have to go to walgreens buy these expensive and i was like i want to know like i want to know right now so we went to walgreens we bought a 17 dollar freaking test when it could have been a dollar at the dollar store but it's all right and we went in the bathroom together and i peed on it and oh my god when we looked at it that shit said positive and it was two of them it said positive i was like what this can't be i was like no i couldn't believe it i was in shock like i just got this positive pregnancy test and i'm like damn this is good but at the same time like what are we gonna do we don't live together we're not married my family is very catholic on my colombian side and my family is very christian on my dominican side now i gotta break it to them that your little 20 year old without being married but i've been with my mans for a long time is pregnant you know so he was just very happy he wanted to hug me he was like in shock too i don't know what was going through his head but i just knew overall he was like super happy and i i just i started like tearing up and i was like damn like this is a big responsibility it's not no joke having a kid is not a joke i gotta step up my game i gotta get my own place i had my own car I had a motorcycle at the time and i'm like damn like First thing I thought of is like, I gotta sell this damn bike. <laughs> My, all right, let me tell y'all. Two days or like the week before I found out I was pregnant. This happens, I guess, cause people tells me it happens, but I was feeling myself. I was like, damn, I look snatched. Like I had a little waist. I, I felt pretty and it's not a boy because usually they say that boys make you like pretty or whatever but i was like damn i'm feeling myself like i was like snatched you know my body was popping so i didn't believe i was pregnant but i guess it is what it is we walked out of that walgreens like damn we're pregnant so I went to CHI, this place that is like a public health center here in Miami. And I wanted to make sure, like, for sure that I was pregnant. So after I got the, the positive pregnancy test, we went to CHI. We waited for a little bit. I didn't have insurance. But you can go without insurance and they'll, they'll charge you, like, based on your income. I think they charged me, like, $40 to run tests on me like to check if i was pregnant how much i weighed and whatever like the checkup that they usually do the first appointment so they call me they did a p test and my boyfriend wasn't allowed to come in because still covid like it's the end of covid but at the same time they're not letting two people in one room so he was just waiting and waiting and i was in these little shorts a crop top and the the pregnant girls in there they were like Ooh. like now i see people coming into chi with the shorts and little crop top to see if they're pregnant i'm like damn that was me now look at me this little big old belly but anyways she weighed me i was 118 and i don't know she was just like yeah you're pregnant congratulations uh we're gonna put you on prenatals and i hope you have a happy pregnancy and i was like that's it <laughs> just like that y'all just gonna let me walk out i don't give me no options like your bitch gotta have this baby no i'm playing um i'm not against abortion but at the same time i will face my consequences for having unprotected sex in my opinion you know like i wouldn't take away a life because of my um because of my what's it called like me being irresponsible so it's my first time i get pregnant um i was just happy this baby was made with a lot of love so i don't regret it 
and we got out that day and that's when it started like i started trying to get insurance calling medicaid they sent me baby of karina card but then i had to do some other things to activate it i wasn't working at the time i was doing like doordash here and there but i wasn't really working we we're just living our life you know partying usual stuff that 20 year olds do so after my mission of trying to get insurance i finally got insurance when i was like four months and i was so excited like because i found out in november december 25th i believe um i went to the hospital because they told me with medicaid self-pay whatever that they pay like somewhat of your bill so that's what i had i have medicaid self-pay so i went to the hospital to baptist and i wanted to make sure like my baby was okay because i'm already more than eight weeks by this time and like I, I i didn't get no ultrasound i didn't know nothing like i just wanted to see if my baby was okay so i went on christmas i believe christmas yeah christmas and they did an ultrasound i saw the baby and i was just like so happy that was my first ultrasound i went to the hospital to get an ultrasound because i was so desperate and then two months after that i actually got a doctor in chi and she sent me to go get an ultrasound and i got a little knot of me my baby's so cute y'all look at her you can't really see it that much but i got the scan she gave me extra ones because i told her what i was going through like i haven't been able to see a doctor i'm so far along and i haven't seen my baby like is everything okay and then i made my my baby's book look how cute i don't know if you can see really well but that's the picture of her she's gonna be real cute the first page was when i found out i was pregnant my friends are like mm, that's nasty you got your little pee test there but i don't care these are the two little pregnancy tests i took just so happened to be pink and it says, I found out I was pregnant with you, your father, and I suspected something was up when I threw up, and I never throw up. We went to the store to get a pregnancy test, and we found out in the CVS, not Walmart, CVS bathroom that it was positive. I couldn't believe I was so shocked and confused, and your dad was happy and shook. <laughs> that was November 8th, 2021. December 25th, this is when I went to the hospital to see her the first time the ultrasound and i said today i went to the hospital because i haven't been able to get insurance i've been waiting a month and a half and i'm crazy to see you to know that you're okay after being there for two hours they took me to the OBGYN room and i saw you moving around i was about two months and a half corrected and the doctor said you're a big baby and the fact that you were moving around so much was a good sign I was relieved and happy your dad was on FaceTime and he was happy he didn't get any pictures. I didn't get any pictures, but at least I knew it was a happy baby. I was scared it might have been twins, but it wasn't. Thank God. Thank the Lord Jesus. Because I'm a twin. My mom's a twin. It's crazy. I, I, was, I just, I want to make sure it wasn't no twins. So the next page is just like, picture me when I was pregnant on my birthday for my 21st birthday so i put um mine and theo's birthday i decided to go on a little vacation to tampa with my childhood friend gabby we went to rainbow springs a florida state park in dade city at rainbow springs we rented kayaks and went swimming at the mainstream and i took pictures i was three months so my belly was poking out a little bit at the florida state park we walked around saw tiny gators and owl and they had a little show we saw a mermaid show it was beautiful after we went to after we went to eat seafood at my favorite place up there the seafood boy you know what i'm saying it should be and it was a must and the day after we went to an artificial snow fest like there was a place that had like an ice cube and stuff and we went into an ice glue 
and ice skating and we made s'mores it was so fun i really enjoyed myself for my 21st birthday so this is just like a little burn book i seen kim kardashian made one of these or whatever for her kids and i was like damn that's nice like i want to do one of those so my my kid can read back all of these stories of before she was born and see that it wasn't easy you know like I mean, not that I'm putting stuff that I'm struggling here, because thank God I'm not. But I also put here, I got my first place. I need to put some pictures here of my first place, because it's beautiful, you know what I mean, right? It's going to be happy. I put here the first time I felt her move. The first doctor appointment in March. And the gender reveal. So now, we're going to get into the gender reveal, because... This is a reaction video to my gender reveal. Um, after my first doctor's appointment, we found out, not we found out, but we told the doctor that we wanted to know the gender. I'm already like four months and I still didn't know my gender. So we we're planning to have like a gender reveal, not too big. I mean, we went to the doctor, we found, we found out, he put it in a little paper, I gave it to my boyfriend's best friend he was gonna host it and like a week later we did the gender reveal it was very fast because i mean i have been waiting for so long to find out this baby's gender and i was already pretty big so i'm gonna put here um the video of the gender reveal first i'm gonna um First, I'm going to read this. It says, finally, the day has come to know your gender. We're so desperate. Brian's best friend, Yensei, was going to plan it since the day he told him we were expecting. So that he did. Yensei and his girlfriend planned the beautiful gender reveal. I invited my childhood friends and your dad did too. And we had an amazing time with our friends and family. The time has come. We came together to find out what you are. Boop, 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 boop. you're a girl oh my god i was so happy we, we just wanted a healthy baby but knowing you were gonna be a girl made us so happy i'm a daddy's girl so i know you're gonna be a daddy's girl and have an amazing relationship with him i pray that we have close relationships and trust i love you allison that's my baby's name my baby girl forever and then i have here some pictures of her ultrasound, her little beautiful self. She's so beautiful. And now, I'm gonna react to my gender reveal. So they brought out the ball, and I was like telling her, I was like, you know, that's basic, I don't want to have a ball at all. She, look what she did. That's my girlfriend's best friend and his girlfriend. How to go. I said, oh, psych. <laughs> couldn't pop it she gave me a little pin and it was a joke i was like wait what i was like what is a boy or a girl because it was pink and blue and i was like wait what i was confused and she was like psych she got some little popper things and that's when we actually find out the gender <laughs> You can see my bump, it was so big already. I was like four months. Who was going to surprise me? And my mom was like, me, 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 me. My mom was been playing that, you know, he's Dominican, so he about to hit me with a stick. <laughs> Jean jacket 
is my boyfriend's sister. She was so happy. At first, I was like, it's a girl. I had a dream. She's going to be a girl. Like, two days after I found out I was pregnant, I had a dream that she's going to be a girl. Like, literally, like, I saw her in my dream. She was like one, about one. Everybody was scared to me. I was so happy. I was like, it's a girl. I'm going to have a mini with my friends. As my brother. My brother. My mom. She was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> She's so happy. My dad's in Columbus. So she like, mom's intuition. <laughs> He's going for a healthy baby. No matter if it's a boy or girl. Those are my suegros. <laughs> I was so happy. I still didn't let go of the damn stick. Look <laughs> at my dramatic I'm self. Emotional. I didn't know it was supposed to be a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, okay? It's not that even. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's okay. Hey, my brother. Bro, I That's my twin brother. You knew what it was already. You knew what it was. Hopefully, no, I didn't know, but I had a feeling. You did. Okay. You did. Yeah, yeah. And it was right. Good feeling. We were all. That's my friend, my childhood friend, and her baby daddy. We just so had a baby. Mr. Mr. Wong was Mr. She's Wong. She's literally postpartum. Yeah. But my, like my son might before. have a girlfriend in the future. Definitely true. I find it's out. Like Everything. I find it out. It's okay. It's going to be like this. You need to take like this for yourself. I'm happy that she Okay. You know, I'm not saying anything. I know, I know that I'm wrong, but okay. You know, I have a sign. Yeah. I thought it was the same. I thought the stomach, you know, and you showed. She thought it was going to be a book. It's okay. Yeah, but no, totally. We do. No, we actually do. It's always 50 50. We can't go with the Christ or what we think. <laughs> Yes, yes, this is what it is for Karina. Kayla, 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 how you feel? It was a little gathering. Did you have a thing on? Period. Oh, I had all pink socks. Oh, so you were a team transgender. On the cover. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Team on the cover. Team on the cover. Team on the cover.
hurting so bad. I couldn't move for like two days after that. The gender reveal was really fun. That's me reacting to my gender reveal. I hope you guys enjoyed those little clips interviewing. Thank you, Carmen, for interviewing everybody. It was funny. Very, very funny. She got the English part. But she, she didn't interview my little Spanish part because my boyfriend's Cuban. So all of his little Cuban friends and stuff was there. And I'm American, Dominican and Colombian. So she interviewed all of my friends, but it would have been funny with Cuban. I think I have a clip of, no, I don't. But his friends were like, Yo te dije, yo te dije que iba a ser extra. No sé qué cosa, no. I'm like, ah. But yeah, that's my gender reveal, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time. I'm going to be 33 weeks on Monday. It is currently Saturday. And I mean, I'm blessed to have this opportunity to be a mother. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I put up my I changed around my room. That's where my bed was. And I don't know if you guys saw, I couldn't open that, how you point it, that dresser. And now I can. I um, did some organization. I'm gonna show you guys right now. Uh, just prepping for Allison's arrival when she's a newborn. I've seen videos of people giving birth after 33 weeks. So I was like, okay, this is, probably the time I should start setting up hoping to get to 37 38 40 not 41 but um just preparing everything because I'm so excited I got her stroller and everything set up I showed you guys the diapers and stuff but I got your organization so I'm just gonna show you guys what I have organized for now. The baby shower is coming soon. So this place is gonna get a little bit crowded, but no worries, no worries, soon, soon. If God is willing, I'm going to move in soon with my boyfriend to an apartment. So you will be seeing videos with both of us soon. Um, probably both of us reacting to our baby shower or something. He's very funny, but a little bit camera shy. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the organization. Bunch <laughs> of clothes. And I mean, I love everything. These are little shorts. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. <laughs> these are little shorts. And these are onesies. Cute onesies. These are newborn onesies. I got these from a baby shower. This is really cute. And here I have socks, a whole bunch of socks. Here I have bibs, a whole bunch of bibs. These are just bibs. These are washcloth towels. I have a whole bunch of washcloth towels. Here I have um, when you're going to burp the baby burp cloths. I have a swaddle here, a blanket. Mm, so soft. And then down here... I just have you know space and these are for when she gets out of the shower when she's a little bit bigger um the shower little things that have the little hood you know what i'm talking about the newborn sw um swaddler i have breast mi milk storage bags this is the breast milk um pads not breast milk pads but like pads for your boobs and these are little onesies with the zipper on the side zero to three months and i have here back there i have all of my freedom on for my postpartum and space to put more things for when the baby shower and those last two drawers i have to empty them because right now it's just full of my stuff and yeah i just set up my beautiful baby's bassinet and i washed everything so everything's washed this place sound and i put um 
a bassinet pad and a couple accessories and stuff in my baby shower list so that's just plain for now until i get more sheets and things for the bassinet pretty sure i'm not gonna need much because she's gonna be a newborn so i don't really need much but daddy's all my bassinet looks right now and it's the ron a bassinet that I saw a lot of YouTube videos that it's very helpful for when you're a new mom and you can't really go to the crib and stuff, put the baby in here and I just roll over and grab her, give her a quick little diaper change, feed her and put her back in there. Isn't it sound cute? I love it that is all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope to make more videos when i have everything fully set up of a new um efficiency tour as you guys can see i switched everything around and a new just tour of when i get more things for the baby after the baby shower that's all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like subscribe and comment and i hope you guys have a blessed day or night and god bless you